modify and what do they modify? Yeah. You know. So like, do you take the, is there a tomato and you grow the tomato and then you modify it or is it you, you modify it before the creation of tomato? You know. And do they do it because it's cheaper or something? You know, a bill was recently defeated uh, that uh, wanted uh, genetically modified foods to be labeled in the marketplace and I wondered going into the future uh, was there any hope of actually winning that battle so these foods could be identified and consumers can have a choice. Seedless watermelon is one of my favorite things. Is that considered a GMO? And um, if so, should I stop eating that? Uh, or is it something that's genetically altered for the benefit of those who, who are eating it? If I eat one today and tomorrow and over the long run, is it gonna affect me? And in the immediacy of it, will it affect me? Isn't the biotech seed industry spending millions of dollars to hide information from the public? Lots of questions about GMOs have gone unaddressed in the past. It's been hard to find information quickly and easily. We need to work more closely with the public. GMO Answers is a public forum that allows for full transparency and true discourse on the subject of GMOs from the science to the process, your health and the environment, labeling and patents, and everything in between. We'll work closely with experts from a wide variety of disciplines to address all of your questions directly, because we want you to understand what the GMO industry is doing and who we are. So ask us anything.